guess the best way I could describe it is alignment. Um, you know, it's it's kind of the, the the oil in the machine. It's making sure that everybody involved on the team is working together to accomplish a goal. So, for example, we want to make sure that our employees along the teller line have goals and objectives that are consistent with the business advisors, an objective with the company as a whole, and uh, consistent with you know what it is that the clients want. Um, we feel like if everybody's working towards the same goal, the culture is going to be smooth. Um, the way we do that is by making sure that everybody knows what our goals and objectives are. So for example, our senior management team does a, a one Alaris call every month. So every employee in the company can call in and listen to what's going on in the organization. They learn about you know, what our goals and objectives are, how we're doing in relationship to budget, and what's going on with COVID, for example, or opening and closing lobbies. Uh, and then we have one-on-one -on -one meetings with each and every one of our employees on a weekly basis to make sure that they know what their goals are and make sure that their goals are in alignment with what the company's goals are. So I would say that culture is about alignment. We did a, an employee engagement survey. Uh, we do them every year, but uh, this was uh, right in the midst of the COVID pandemic with people working from home. Um, and we have, I'm proud to say we have about 98% approval rating from our employees. Um, they really like working there. Um, they enjoy what they're doing. Uh, they like working together as a team. I think the thing that makes us different uh, is a couple things. First of all, it's the stability of the leadership team. Um, we're pretty consistent on what it is that we do. So for example, um, in, in the banking world, you know, maybe we're interested in doing a lot of uh, commercial real estate lending, and then a year later we say, well, we don't want any of that. We want to do some CNI lending or whatever it may be. Uh, we've always stuck to what it is that we do best, and we don't change a whole lot. Um, also, the, you know, the longevity of the leadership team is important to all the employees as well as the customers. Uh, seeing a consistent uh, approach to what it is that we do and seeing a, a longevity of purpose is important. And finally, the third thing that's really most important is the ESOP. Uh, our bank is employed by, is owned by the employees. So every employee's working together to do what's right for the bank and do what's right for our clients. Uh, and they all benefit from it. So having an ESOP uh, really helps keep everybody in line with what it is we're trying to do. The thing that I'm most proud about is how we responded uh, to helping our clients during the PPP program. Um, when, when COVID hit, you know, a lot of our customers were really struggling. Um, a lot of customer, a lot of business owners out there didn't have somebody to talk to. They call the bank and they get an 800 number and they're put on hold and they don't have anybody to contact. We made sure that we did a calling effort when, when the pandemic started before we even started implementing the PPP program, we called over 1,500 of our clients directly. Just call them to talk to them and let them know that we're there for them and let them know that we're working on the PPP program and that we're there to help. Um, I was really proud of how we responded and how we were able to help all of our clients together. Uh, I'm also proud of the fact that uh, we have a team of people here in the Arizona market uh, for over a decade now. It's the same group of bankers um, myself and several of my team members, uh, several of our underwriters, business advisors, or treasury management specialists, we've all been together now for over 10 years. Um, it's really difficult in the banking industry to keep a team together for that long a time. And I think that says a lot about the leadership and about the bank itself. <laughs>